Um, I thought it was a, um, a hard-fought game. Um, two teams really competed against one another. I thought we got off to a good start. Um, you know, the guy, guys were disappointed in their in their performance on Friday, and I thought they came out much better, much harder, with, with much more energy, and enthusiasm. We defended much better, in the, in, especially in the first half, getting in the gaps, taking away penetration. Um, you know, holding them to three for 17 from threes. You know, 39 percent from the from the field. Um, it's testament to, to our guys and, and their abilities to play defense in the half court. Um, I thought Ogo and Andrew and Mike really, you know, led us um, with a lot of energy. Um, you know, they, they scored some points, but I, I thought, you know, Mike was really, um, really active, seven, seven rebounds. Um, you know, Andrew had a, a double-double for the first time, I think, in his life. Oh, for a long time. Um, but, and I thought Ogo, you know, controlled the game. Um, you know, he's being pressured the whole time, and, and you know, they were into him. Um, but I thought he, he did a great job in, in getting us into offense. Um, and we, we just had much more energy than we had the other night. And, you know, shooting 30 for 37 from the line is, 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 is a great number as well. Mark, talk about the, the start and, and the energy that, that you had. Also, because you also converted a lot of points off of turnovers early on. Yeah. Take advantage of that. Yeah, I thought we, we just came out with energy. Um, you know, we talked about the fundamentals and, and getting into the gaps. And, you know, against Canisius, we, we allowed way too many um, guys penetrating, getting into the middle of our defense and, you know, either laying it up or kicking it out. And we had to do a much better job of, of containing the dribbler and, and getting guys uh, in those gaps. We always talk about you always want to outnumber the, the ball. And, and I thought we did a much better job outnumbering the ball and uh, getting into the gaps and getting steals and, and then converting. Those those turnovers in the points, which is um, you know a, a big thing. In, in the first half, we did a great job. Second half, they they got some points off the of turnovers, um, mm -hmm. which kept it close. In the second half, what, obviously you're playing with a big lead, which is always somewhat a difficult thing to manage. Who was focused a little bit at some time? No, I, I, you know I think from from a um, you know we hold them to forty percent um, from the field. You know, so we, we did a, you know, a decent job. I think we turned it over a little bit too much in, in the second half. Um, and then, you know, they spread, us, they spread us out and they went small. And, 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 you know, maybe from a coaching thing, maybe we should have matched it and we decided not to match and we stayed big and they hurt us a little bit on, on some of those pick and rolls. Coach, you mentioned 39% for, uh, for 16 turnovers. It just seemed like a, a much obviously much better in game defensively, especially in the half yeah, court we're, than, than the other yeah, team. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna win, you know, and I, and I set it up for the Canisius game. We're gonna win because we defend and rebound. And, you know, holding the team at 39%, 17% from threes, and I'll rebound them. Those are the two main things. And, you know, in terms of scoring, I think we're gonna have an opportunity to score the ball. Um, but it's it's those two things, being able to, to defend and, and rebound, and that takes effort, that takes discipline. And, and we had those things today. You mentioned it was a physical game. They fouled, you know, 30 times. Um, but just talk about the way you, you guys handled it. And, and as you I said, 30 for 30. Yeah, it's like when, when, when the when when team is playing aggressive and, and they're fouling, you got to make them pay um, by knocking down foul shots. And I thought we did a great job, you know, shooting 80, 81%. It um, you know, shows that we did a good job on the, uh, on the foul line. We need to do that. When, when teams are really going to get and, and they're playing as physical as they were playing on the ball, you know, we we got to the to one the one on one really quickly, and you're gonna make them pay. You know, if they're following us and we're missing one on ones, then it plays right into their hands. Okay. So talk about uh, you know Andrew specifically one nine for ten. Uh, you know, you don't see it every day. Six, you're six nine four being the guy to go shoot the technical free throws, and and, and he did that, and he, he he knocks them down. Talk talk a little. Yeah, bit. you know, Andrew has a good stroke. You know, he he thinks he has a great stroke. And, um, but he, you know, he can he can shoot the ball, you know. And I, I go and you look at the stats, and I go with the guy, you know, who who's, has the highest foul shot um, percentage. And, and right now, Andrew does. I'm not sure if Ogo did or not. Not after this game. Um, but <laughs> it, it just you go with the guy. It's almost like you earn the right to shoot technical fouls, and you earn it by shooting a high percentage. You know, I'm not going to put a guy on the line that shoots 50 percent. You know. Um, but Andrew has a good stroke, um, and he made me look good when he made, he made both of them, right? Yeah. Would, you, would you rather him, though, not maybe step out and take some of those three pointers? Um, one was okay, uh -huh. and, and, but the other one wasn't. You know, I thought the other one was forced. Um, and I think, you know, I, I have faith in Andrew that he's going to take good shots. Um, he's not going to force shots. 
Um, but I think, you know, he lost his mind a little bit with that second one. Um, but he forced it. Yeah, but that's, you know, he understands that. And I'd be upset if he, you know, didn't see that and took it home. Andrew, talk about, you know, Coach talked about energy coming out in, in this game, especially coming off of Friday's game. Talk about from the player's standpoint how you guys were able to come back and, and start the game with what, the way you did. Um, we just came out hard together. And um, just, I mean, we came, out, came off a loss and we're, we're at home now, so I just got to take care of home. And you have 48 points in two games now. Uh, just, I mean, eight, eight for 13 uh, today, I think it was nine of 12 the other day. Just, just talk about what, what's going through your head when you, when you get the ball. I mean, you're, you're, you're scoring, you know, almost at will inside right now. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's our offense, like what we run is, most of it's because like, my teammates are able to get me open and get me the ball, so I have given them a lot of credit for that. And um, yeah, just, just playing the game. Okay, can you talk about the start of, of the game um, and, and coming out, jumping out to that 6 nothing lead and being able to, to carry that and, and expand that? Um, I think it was just the team's mentality because we disappointed ourselves working with Duncan Canisius and not being able to go out our pack line against Canisius was, was non-existent. So this game we made a determination to focus mainly on defense and to stick with it. And I think that really helped us. What defensively do you think really came together for you guys in that first half? Helping each other out, not just thinking about our man, but helping seeing the next man, seeing where the ball is, being alert, being more aware. We're just talking about being disciplined being, and giving an effort, and I think Today we had more of that in our mind than in Canisius where we were just doing whatever we wanted to. So mm -hmm. I think that was a big key. Well, as the point guard, you're obviously running things out there. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about handling the pressure, the way handling that kind of physicality, that intensity, um, and then and then yourself getting to the free throw line 11 times? Can you just talk about handling that uh, that pressure a little bit? Um, yeah, obviously it's not. It's not the easiest thing, but I mean, it's a role that I have to play in order for us to, to be successful. And I mean, I'm more than willing to play that role. So I mean, it's it's something that I mean, my teammates are with me, and my coaches are with me. So I mean, something we work on every day. So it's I mean, it's nothing new for me. Thank you.